from hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing some Alfred Hitchcock titles that are now on Blu-ray and these are some very exciting ones. We've got Rebecca, Spellbound, and Notorious. So if you are looking to watch a movie with a one-word title this week, this is the review to watch. First, let's talk about Rebecca. Rebecca was Hitchcock's first movie in America, his first significant movie in America, where he came over and decided to make movies here, and he worked with producer David O. Selznick, and that was a very interesting working relationship that you can learn all about in the extras because they argued a lot and had very different ideas about how to make a movie. But enough about that, let's talk about this movie. It stars Joan Fontaine, not as Rebecca. Joan Fontaine's character actually never has a name that's revealed in the movie. How cool is that? Anyway, she falls in love with Laurence Olivier, who is a widowed man who is very sad over the death of his wife, Rebecca. Everybody talks about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so charming, such an amazing hostess. She was the most amazing woman ever. And poor Joan Fontaine doesn't know how she'll ever live up to it. And nonetheless, Laurence Olivier decides, I want to propose to you, and we're going to be married, and we're going to live in Manderley. I had never seen this movie before, but I'd always heard of Manderley, and I was so glad to finally watch this movie because it was entrancing. Watching her walk through this huge, huge mansion, seeing all the reminders of the wife, and trying to figure out how she can fill her role and be you know, come over the shadow and everything. And at the same time, there's a really, really, really creepy, like, housekeeper woman who's, like, head of the household who's always trying to creep her out and say things about Rebecca and probably hints at some sort of strange relationship she had with Rebecca. Anywho, so it's very haunting and creepy and entrancing, and then it's a mystery of what happened to Rebecca, and then it's getting down to the bottom of it, and then, oh no, Joan Fontaine's in danger! And you should definitely just watch it, because it was super cool. Other features are there's a commentary with film critic Richard Schickel, there is an isolated music and effects track, if you want to do that, there's... Uh, well, in the making of Rebecca, it talks about the relationship between producer and director. And there's the gothic world of Daphne du Maurer. There's screen tests, radio plays, Hitchcock audio reviews, and a trailer. That's pretty cool. Next, let's talk Spellbound. This is another uh, partnership with David O. Selznick. And this one stars Ingrid Bergman and Gregory Peck. This is interesting. Hitchcock really liked Ingrid Bergman because he used her in both of these movies that I'm about to discuss. She is a psychologist in this one, and she gets to use her awesome accent. And she tries to get to the bottom of psychoanalyzing the man she falls in love with, Gregory Peck, because he has all these weird behaviors from something that he's definitely repressing. And she has to get to the bottom of it to clear his name. But what if he's really guilty? <gasps> And in this movie, there is a crazy dream sequence that is insane. And there's also hilarious skiing. Skiing is when you go like this, and there's like a screen moving behind you. And it totally looks like they're skiing, because they never actually change distance from each other, and they go like this. For extras on this one, you get commentary with author and film professor Thomas Schatz and film professor Charles Ramirez Berg, and there is Dreaming with Scissors, Hitchcock Surrealism, and Salvador Dali, which totally goes over that crazy dream sequence. There is Guilt by Association, Psychoanalyzing Spellbound. Guilt by Association is like the whole big condition that the dude has in this movie. And there is a Cinderella story, Rhonda Fleming, a 1948 radio play, Hitchcock audio review, and a trailer. Oh my gosh, crazy black and white romance. Oh, you have to fall in love with each other because you saw each other and then doors opened in your minds and then you made out. That's what happened in this movie. Next, Ingrid Bergman falls in love with somebody else. In this one, she falls in love with Cary Grant. And who could blame her? It's Cary Grant. This is another black and white romance. Two people, in this case, who want to be together but don't want to be together and have to act like they don't want to be together because they have to be spies. Actually, Cary Grant is the spy, and he recruits Ingrid Bergman to play a role, and she has to go seduce another man! <gasps> they find out about this after they fall in love. Darn it! 
So, anywho, it's very complicated for them because they have a very much like, come to me, come to me, go away relationship. Very dramatic, very 1940s. For extras, you get commentary with film professor Rick Jewell, commentary with film professor Drew Casper. Apparently, they couldn't record together. Isolated music and effects track, because we know the music then was much grander. The ultimate romance, the making of Notorious. Well, it is romancy. Alfred Hitchcock, the ultimate spy master, and the American Film Institute Award, The Key to Hitchcock, a 1948 radio play starring Joseph Cotton and Ingrid Bergman, Hitchcock audio interviews, restoration comparison, and a trailer. See, there's so much here. So if you're a Hitchcock fan, you should be checking these out. But if you could only pick one, I would pick Rebecca. I thought this movie was crazy awesome. So thank you for listening to my review, and I hope you'll join me again next time for more Blu-ray DVD reviews and stuff in theaters and anime. Goodbye. If you like this review, go to my site at hauntedflowerreviews.com. I also have a podcast on iTunes. Please leave me ratings and comments. Also, we have a store, hauntedflower.com, where you can find the best online apparel and accessories from movies, TV shows, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower, and that's where we have all of our contests, too, so you can win free stuff. Go to indiemojo.com if you live in Indianapolis, and you can find out how to go to free movies.